When I was 10 years old, the Great Commission came to me. Since the day Jesus commanded, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, the Great Commission was not only created, but continued through the centuries. It personally reached into the life of a young boy through an influential missionary to Costa Rica. An American missionary had started a church in our neighborhood, and there's where I was able to know about Jesus, got saved, and right a little after that, right out of the high school, get trained in ministry. The Great Commission is a cycle. Just as God's Word never returns void, so also the Great Commission will continually yield a harvest of souls as mission-conscious men and women share the truth of God's love. Ray Edwards and his family are no exception. Over the past 10 years, God has called, trained, and sent Ray Edwards and his family to establish a fruitful ministry in Venezuela. God enabled them to plant several churches and establish a seminary that is intent on training young men to gain a vision for taking God's Word to their own Spanish-speaking countries. Ray firmly believes that you can teach a man theology and educate him on how to preach, but unless he has a heart for the reproducing work of the Great Commission, the work is in vain. The Great Commission knows no bounds and holds no shape save that of Jesus Christ. It reaches far and wide to those who have ears to hear and through those who take its message to the remotest of the remote. What began as a ministry based in Venezuela branched out into several neighboring countries in South America. Not only have natives received salvation, but churches have been planted. The work doesn't stop here. God began doing exceedingly abundantly beyond all Ray and his family could ask or think in 2012. Through a series of circumstances, the Lord began Spanish mission builders. He started by highlighting Panama as a central location with easy access to many different South American countries. God moved the Edwards family to Panama, and on this Latin American crossroads, Ray established a training ministry that disciples men and burdens them with the Great Commission mission. Ray's vision is to see men taught, equipped, and sent to every Latin American country with the primary goal of seeing individuals and churches capture the vision of the Great Commission. With the ministry already established and growing, further support is needed in order to bring God's harvest to Latin America. Being in Panama, in three different locations, the Kuna Indians, the city, and the mountains in Cherokees have proved to be perfect location to give our students a feel of different fields in the work of missions. And this training ground have been fruitful in training young men from Venezuela, from Ecuador, and in Panama, and from this strategic location to be able to go to other countries in Latin America and even here in the United States. The work of the Great Commission that is already being done through Spanish mission builders is not an individual calling or a one-man ministry. It began with a family, Ray, his wife Julia, and their three children, Elizabeth, David, and Hannah. God expanded this team to include Ray's sister, Eileen, and several of the young men trained in Venezuela. God is continuing to extend this ministry to other faithful disciples that are co-laboring to see Spanish mission builders grow. You too can become a part of this ministry through prayer and financial support. Through your prayers and financial support, you're not only partnering with the Edwards family, you've been a part of a bigger endeavor to reproduce in each Latin American country the strategy, the principle, and the vision of Spanish mission builders to see the Great Commission reproduce in the life of individuals and churches. We need your help for this. God is already blessing this ministry, and we want to see more accomplished for His honor and His glory. <laughs>